welcome back everybody we are out here um, I've been on a shelf for a minute you know uh, had a bit of a COVID scare I luckily I didn't have COVID I had a kind of feel like a sinus infection but testing negative so kind of been on the shelf it's been a little while since I've been out in the kayak and it's been a little while since I've been fishing kind of keeping it close at the house and uh, I'm not too sure how much energy I have today but I'm gonna give it my all and uh, see how long I can stay out here but as you can see it's very very foggy so I'm an extremely popular spot I've never been out here where I've had to park as far as I did and that's Christmas Bay Christmas Bay is a another good spot for someone who is new to kayak fishing or even weight fishing there's I don't know I've come about six waiters this morning six different people waiting and quite a lot of kayaks racks and hedge extenders and bed extenders and stuff like that at the parking I kind of got there a little late uh, like I said I'm just getting over some stuff so a little bit slow getting up and slow moving but we are here this is a good spot because you have good parking you have plenty of parking really I mean sometimes like today it can be a little packed and then there's there's different kinds of fishing you can do here you can push further back into the marsh you can fish the flax you can weight fish there's deeper cut and cold pass where you can you know if the, if the tide is out and the water level is low cold pass is pretty deep um, Churchill Bio is pretty deep as well so we have different different types and different styles of fishing if they're not in the flats they might be in the marsh and not be in the marsh that might be a little deeper so and there's always always uh, the downside is that there always there's always a lot of activity here as far as people go there's always a lot of boating and a lot of kayaking and a lot of waders so um, if you're looking to stay away from the crowd this is not the spot for you but however if you don't like fishing by yourself well then this is probably a good spot for you too you can probably meet somebody in case you get in a jam there's always somebody around that you can holler at and maybe help you out but hey thanks for coming back don't forget to subscribe to the channel like comment all that stuff and uh hopefully i'll be able to catch a couple of fish today but like i said it's really really foggy so we're gonna hope for the best so I put a tandem gope on, kind of hoping for a flounder in here. Um, I know it's kind of off flounder season, but there's still flounder around. You still have your residential flounder that just, they're not going to make it out. They're not going to go out. They'll just go to deeper water. And Churchill Bayou right behind me, it's kind of it's kind of deep. It's And, you you know, you have even deeper water with Code Pass. So um, wouldn't, I would not not put it past that there being um, a couple flounders in here. I'm always, you know, always had good success catching one or two flounder in here. I thought there might be a flounder in that drain. Looks like a good place for an ambush fish. A fish to ambush. Uh, yeah. Oh, nice. See this drain right here? I was like, man, there's got to be something in here. Looks like a good spot. Get this board wet. Look, you got your dude. Look at his nose; it's all bloody. How did that happen? Huh? Who bloody your nose, bro? He is <laughs> slimy. He is gonna be, yeah, a little past 16 inches. A little past 16 inch little slimy guy. Let's let's see if we can get that out of there. One or not. When we just haven't had the run which we just had so but i'm gonna hope for another flounder i don't care if it can be even be a small male but uh just really anything this morning to get the the skunk out of the boat it's kind of what i'm looking at and fish wood what there we go there we go uh, i wanted to come out and fish with the wedge tail from inger baits but i want to get the skunk out the boat catch at least a couple fish that's a little croaker. I'm gonna get him off. Uh, I see something chasing bait over here. I wasn't making too much of a ruckus, but enough to uh, let me know that there was a predator eating on some of the smaller mullets. <sighs> I thought maybe it'll be a rat red, so I was kind of hoping for. And this is probably really gonna be the theme of the day. But like I said, you know, you see those oyster reefs? 
if the tide was you know two feet higher you would never be able to see him if you've never been here before or if you never fished this side of the this this area before you kind of never see him you might throw right in the middle of them and you lose your lure or you may not even realize that there's oysters around and never cast over here there's will be under submerged if you had like really really high tide this will be a key point to come and get them because to come get especially the reds because they're going to push back as far as the bait goes and i guarantee you as low as this water is and i just scared some bait but as low as this water is and as much bait as there is even with the low tide that with a very high tide there's there's bait all in here this is be a a key point a great place to come back and visit during a very high tide situation and even at the beginning of the low tide that's a great drain that this is going to hold fish so everything's going to be start dumping out so that's also be a great drain to fish and target while this is still holding water so we have a Churchill Bayou right there and it's kind of bleeding into this area so you got good water movement coming through because if I stop the winds coming this way headwind too so you have good water movement getting pushed through here so this should be a good spot right here you know you have a couple other drains right here you have a little drain right here so there, there should be fish here and you're fighting against the current I'd rather fish fighting against the current than fish. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. That's a nice flatty. Nice little one. At least. Uh, all right, little guy. Uh, told you. I wanted to get a flatty in here. Uh, he just popped it. Popped it, popped it. Oh, my goodness. Second little one of the day point I was saying before caught that little guy let's see if we can get another one here <coughs> a little juvenile probably a small male we'll get another little male Is that one <laughs> yep there we go we got another little chip huh found them one little guys hanging out a little guys a little chill time. Ladies are all gone. Guys chilling and hanging out. That's funny. Sometimes you can find them stacked up. Even if they're little chippers. Like these guys. Just to find them stacked up a little bit. Let's see if we can shake that guy loose. There he goes. Oh, dang it. I thought I had a fish. Man. Well, you know, that reminds me that, you know, I've had I've had some really, really good days out here before in the past. I've had I've had some really outstanding days fishing with you know, it was a nice nice day, nothing nothing like it is right now. About the same time of the year, you know, I think it was a little cooler. Uh maybe not. Maybe it was maybe it was during the <coughs> during the summertime or towards the end of summer. Like fall. But yeah, I've had some good days out here some really 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 nice days i remember to one particular i was trying out some lures from vortex uh and also some chicken boy lures i had that came out one trip just trying to fishing with those just testing them out and man i just that was just fishing church or churchill bayou yeah and i had really some really good times throwing that stuff kind of give them a little second to wait there it goes. There it goes. Oh. Yep, another flounder. Oh yeah, another good size flounder right here. Easy as possible. Oh man, this is like an identical fish right here. 17. Come on. Come on. Chin up. Got him. Ooh. Oh, ho, ho. he is barely at 20 inches. You can see that. It is cut and trying to keep him out of my drive. There he goes. Oh, wow. Come on. Don't do that. Don't do that. 
<laughs> Work fast. Look at that guy right there. He's not hooked that well. Oh man, look at this guy. He's 18, 18 and a half. Let's see. Ooh, there we go. Uh, little flatty. There you go. Little flatty. Oh yeah, little guy. He probably about maybe about 13, 13 inches. Oh, ripped his mouth. Let me see if I grab him. Uh, there he goes, little guy. Talking to Eric on the phone. Say hi, Eric. How y'all doing out the YouTube world? <laughs> there he goes. There's a flounder. <laughs> oh, oh, yep. There he was. He was right there. Where I had that last one. So those are those, those two that I caught. That was another one right there. That's funny. Just couldn't get that hook set. I was almost overhead on it when I tried to set that hook. So couldn't get that hook set. But uh, I'm going to turn around and see if there's another one. There we go. Oh no, he got off too. Dang it. Dang it. But that was one. Oh man, how did I miss that one? That one felt hook set. I almost felt it. I that hook set on that one. Golly. That is gonna do it you know I was really surprised how many people were out here I mean you can see here I mean it's after one o'clock you have all these cars over here you have trucks I had to park way down there I had to park in the street and uh, it can get pretty crowded out here on the weekends you know today being Thursday I was really surprised that that it was that crowded that it was that crowded just for the simple fact that it's a weekday but you know it's a hustle gonna be a holiday weekend uh, tomorrow's new year's eve so last soak for me for 2021 it wasn't that impressive i have to tell you man it was kind of lame you know i got five flounder and you know and i'm on the water so i can't complain about being on the water i really can't um as far as hooking up to fish and entertaining you guys i mean it's 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 a lame video you know um caught five little flounder able to bleed in some of my past catch catches here at in uh christmas bay right here in amigo lane you know so if i had to rate this place for beginners new kayakers new weight fishermen i'd probably give it maybe three and a half stars i would give it a star for being able to park because even with a lot of people on the water there's still a lot of parking two the launch is pretty pretty easy you know three the water isn't isn't bad it really isn't even for as pressured as it gets you there's still a lot of fish out here um didn't happen for me today but i've had some really good days out here and uh today was just kind of away for everybody everybody i spoke to said they weren't really catching anything uh the downside is the amount of traffic that it the amount of traffic of people that do come out but again, if you're one of those that don't want to fish by yourself, you're kind of eerie, don't want to be caught in the water, something happens when you're, you know, being alone, you're not going to be alone. There's going to be somebody within shouting distance, as you saw today. Um, but the traffic of boats is is a downside to me. Um, don't like, lie. I do not like 
a lot of boat traffic. I do not like a lot of anglers trying to fish in the same spot. It pressures the water a lot. So with the amount of pressure, it's surprised that you can still catch some good fish out here. I do like how diverse you can fish out here. You can fish flats. You can fish deeper channels, deeper guts, cold paths, Churchill Bayou. You can fish some of the marsh. You can get back in there. You can push all, You can push far away from everybody. You really can. Um, you just got to be able to have the time and, and the energy to put the work in today. I just didn't. Um, but I do. I do like how it's very diverse and you can fish a lot of different body types of water. So that's one of the reasons why I like Christmas Bay so much. But other than that, you know, I had a good time. I hope you guys had a good time too. There's plenty of places to throw a cast net out here as well. So if you're a cast net kind of thrower, you like to fish a live bait, then there's a lot of spots out here where you can toss a cast net. It gets pretty shallow. Whether you're bait fishing or weight fishing or in your kayak or boat, you can always jump out or toss a kayak from your toss the cast net from your boat or possibly from your kayak if you do or if you are well balanced. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoy making it. I enjoy every single one of you guys. I enjoy every single one of them. I appreciate every single one of you guys. I really, really do. Um, just met a great, great team out here. Father and son out here. Daniel and uh, and Lenny. You know, they were out here fishing as well today. So um, hats off to father and son team. You know, I bring my son off out as often as I can. And um, I know we really enjoy those times. So hats off to you guys. Until next time, hopefully you catch me hooking up. Thanks.